Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be giving you some Shopify hacks for ways you can build a luxury, easy to navigate website, even if you are a beginner to Shopify. I'm gonna show you different sections you can add to your website, some branding tips, and a menu customization. Let's get straight into this video. The first Shopify tip for how to have a luxury feel to your website, even as a beginner, this will be to make sure that your website has a smooth and organized navigation for your customers to use. I'm gonna show you how to fill your main menu links and how to organize them to feature your products, your collections, and different pages in your website. Inside your website, you'll wanna click on your header bar and next to menu, usually your main menu will be applied. When you click this, you can actually edit the menu or replace it. I'm gonna click edit to edit the menu. And really quickly, if you like this website that you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates designed for cosmetology stores. I have a variety of different types of Shopify themes including ones for cosmetic and hair stores. I'm gonna link those in the description box below, along with this hair Shopify theme that you'll see in this video. These are customizable Shopify themes that you can easily install in your store using Shopify's import theme setting, which allows you to upload, customize, and publish a custom theme. To edit your website's menu, you'll want to open up your Shopify website and click on your header bar. You'll see some different header editing options, and next to menu, you'll see which menu is applied to your header, Usually your default main menu is applied. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna click edit to go in and edit this menu. Once you've entered the menu editing page, this is where you can customize your existing menu. You'll also have the option to create a brand new menu in case you would just like to start from scratch. For this video, I'm just gonna create a new menu and I'm gonna title it. I'm gonna click add menu item and I'll be adding a link to the home page of the website. This way when customers are on different pages in the website, they usually can see that home link on the main menu in case they would like to navigate back to the home page. Then you can begin adding links to your different product collections. To do this under link, I'm gonna click collections. You can add links to your existing product collections or you can add a link to your all collections page, which is the page where your customers can see all your different visible collections. I'm actually gonna add a link to the all collections page first. And you can also retitle the label. So you can title this all collections or all categories. And you'll want to click the check mark icon once you're done editing that menu item. I added that all categories link. I'm going to show you how to turn this into a drop down so that when people click all categories, it's just going to show a drop down of your different collections. I'm going to click add menu item again. And this is where I'll be adding a link to a specific product collection. You can retitle the label title if you would like. Then click the check mark icon to add this as a sub link under categories so that it's going to appear as a part of the drop down. You'll want to select this icon and then drag this menu link off to the right and directly underneath that all collections link. And that's how to turn it into a dropdown. Now I'm gonna click add menu item to all categories and continue adding more links to other product collections. Once you're finished, I'm gonna click add menu item to add the next page link to the menu. If your brand has an about us page or a blog page, you'll wanna add links to those individual pages. So you'll wanna click link then add a link to your about us page under pages. To add a link to your blog page, you'll also wanna click blogs and either add a link directly to the blog that's added or you can add a link to a specific blog post. So I'll be adding a link to the default blog and I've retitled this label. Next, I'm gonna add a link to the brand's contact page. To do that, you'll wanna click pages and add a link to the contact page under pages. Then you can also add links to your brand's policy pages and also additional pages in your store. Then don't forget to save your menu. And inside your website, you'll want to click on your header. And then this is where we're gonna apply the new menu. So next to menu, I'm gonna click replace and I'm gonna apply that brand new menu that I just created. Once you're done, that is how to customize your website's menu to make an organized, easy to navigate menu to display your different pages and collections. When you also click on your header, you can change the desktop menu type. It's currently set to drop down, but you can change it to another layout like the drawer layout, which is gonna kind of hide those menu links away to create a more minimal header style. Also, I know a lot of you guys are brand new to Shopify and it can feel overwhelming trying to figure everything out. I created a Shopify beginners training to guide you step-by-step -step through the setup process. It walks you through navigating the dashboard, setting up payments, shipping and taxes, and also creating your products, pages, and menus. You'll also learn about launch prep, 
Shopify apps, and some store marketing methods. Plus, I included a 30-page digital planner to keep your store's backend organized so that you have everything you need in one place to launch your Shopify store. The link to the training is in the description box below. Next, for a section that you can add to your website, which is a powerful section that can increase your conversion rate, this is to add an email signup section, especially if you have a signup offer, like a one-time discount that you offer new email members. This can help your customers want to join your email list and even make their first purchase now that they have a discount that they can use. And building your email list in general can help you to have a long list of email subscribers that you can market to in the future. You can alert them when you launch new products, new collections, and even new sales and discounts on your website. To add an email signup, you want to determine where on your website you're gonna place that email signup. I'm gonna place mine midway through the website, but not too far down. And in between sections, you'll want to click add section. This is where you can insert an email signup section. Then off to the left, you should see some different editing options for ways you can customize this section. I'm gonna apply a new color scheme. And you can also choose if you would like to make the section full width or not. When you click on the text, you can either add a general heading, like subscribe to our emails, or you can add your signup offer. This way you're letting customers know that they're gonna receive something like a coupon or discount code when they join your email list, which can actually make them a little bit more motivated, not only to continue shopping with your brand, but to make their first purchase using that new code that they have. Next, a way that you can add a luxury touch to your website would be to customize your website's fonts and even your button labels. These can actually make a large branding impact on your website and they're very easy to customize. Inside your website, you'll want to click theme settings, then click typography. This is where you can customize the heading font and the body font. For an example, I'm gonna edit the heading font. You'll just wanna select the font that you would like to use and depending on the font you've selected, you may have the options to select to put the font in bold. Feel free to play around with different fonts to see what works for your website. Then you can also customize the body font and select whichever one works best with your website and your branding. You also have the option to adjust the font scale size in case you would like the average heading font, for example, to be larger. Then you can customize the appearance of your button labels. These are gonna be the different clickable buttons that appear on certain sections of your website. To customize those, you'll want to click buttons, and this is where you can begin customizing the display. You can increase the corner radius of the button if you would like to make it more rounded, and you can add a border to the button label as well, if you would like, and here's how that looks. You can also adjust the shadow that may appear behind the button label. Your fonts and your button labels are small details that can really represent the branding of your store. Thank you so much for watching this video. My Shopify beginners kit will be linked in the description box below, along with where you can grab the Shopify theme shown in this video. I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify themes designed for many different types of business niches. The link for where you can check those out will be in the description box as well.